Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a review of this lipstick from Kat Von D. If you wanna know the review and demo of these lipsticks, just stay tuned. Alright, first of all, I would like to tell you guys first that this is not about tea or the shade or anything, but me personally, I love Kat Von D products so much. Like, I think her liquid lipsticks is the best one out there. Like, it's not too dry, it lasts super long, and it kiss proof. Like, it's the best thing for me. And besides from the fact that there's a lot of controversy about her right now, I still want to use her products. Like, I still want to buy her makeup brushes that I heard is so good and a lot of new products that is kind of amazing but no one's going to reveal it because now she is like Anyway, anyway, I'm a big fan of her product, not about her personal lifestyle and I'm going to do a review about her actual products. So, you want to know the review and demo of these products? Just stay tuned. All right, first, let me give me the first one. This Ludwig, if I pronounce it right. So this one is kind of pale nude, like me personally, if I don't use lip liner, I would look dead with this one, but I'm not gonna lie, even for me, like I have pretty pale skin, I still think this one is kind of a bit too pale for me. So I'm gonna fix my lips with Wool by MAC. The formula of these lipsticks are the greatest like it dries pretty quick and it doesn't feel dry at all and it's kiss proof like i applied this when i had boyfriend oh my god let's not talk about it and kat von d product is the only thing that does not budge when you kiss someone and that's the tea for me today this is ludwig her liquid lipstick retails for 20 dollars I guess all of this from Christmas set last year and it is 50% off so all of this is just less than 30 bucks and I get 8 shades. Oh my god it's so good. But anyway, let's move on to the next shade and her product does not leave any stain and so easy to watch. Like I love it. Next one is Bow and Arrow. I believe this one is so super famous before but I don't know is this one in the set I think I bought this individual at TJ Maxx I don't remember but all right let's reveal this this kind of remind me when Kylie first made it trendy about brown lipstick I don't think that I like this color so much because sometimes I look at it I think it looks super good but some part of me tell me that it's too much for me but anyway, the formula is great and the color is universal, like I think everybody would love this color, but I'm not that into it. So I would give this one 9 out of 10, but anyway, it looks so damn good and there's nothing bad to say about this. And this is bow and arrow. Moving on next, Madrid. This one is like vampire kind of shade that was super famous back then and I'm gonna show you guys on my lips. For this one, it's not that easy as other color that you can apply with one coat but this one you have to swipe for two or three times to get this full payoff and I would say but it works so perfectly. Like, I love the color. It's so dark and pigmented, just like I want it. It's so beautiful. It's like, it reminds me of Designer Blood from Jeffree Star. I believe they both work so great. But the Kat Von D one is darker, and I love this one too. But for the beginner, I think you would be careful a bit with this color because it dries a little slower and you have to apply for many curves but it works perfectly. And this is Madrid. All right, let's go to the next color. Oh my God, I feel bad for my lips right now. Moving on, the next one is Sanctuary. Sanctuary is like 
dark kind of gray brownish undertone and this is so similar to bow and arrow but a bit darker let's apply it this one can apply smoothly like unlike Madrid that you have to do with so many layers and this is the finished look. This look just call out the sanctuary name so much. Me personally, I think I don't look the best with this kind of color, but the formula is just great, so I like it anyway. And this is the finished look of sanctuary. Oh my god, this color is a bit hard to get out. Maybe because of the pigmentation. Oh my god. My lips hurt. Moving on, Exorcism. Exorcism is like a dark purpley kind of wampy shade. It looks so vibrant and beautiful. If I remember this shade is hard to pull off. So it's not patchy at all. It's so easy to apply and Oh my god, I just love her lipsticks. Look at that, it's just one coat. And she's ready for the battle or the club or whatever. Oh my god, this color. And this is Exorcism. I would give this one 10 out of 10. What do you guys think? I like it a lot, this color. This color just go everywhere when I wash it. Oh my god. Oh my god, this one is the hardest one to get off because the pigmentation of the purple just go everywhere. Anyway, let's move on to the next one, Damned. Damned is like, I'm gonna put it next to the Jeffree Star Designer Blood because I think it would be so similar. Oh my god, I think it's the same but darker color. This one is like red, brown, purple mixed together and it's kind of unique. But we will see if it's patchy or not. Oh my god. It's so pigmented. Just one swipe, it looks so full coverage. But I'm gonna say this one, uh, Madrid, you just need to be careful a bit because for one swipe, it looks great. but. This one a bit patchy. It looks a bit uneven like. I think it's hard to pull off for the beginner and the color is great but I wish it could be a little bit not this patchy. Just like I wish it would be like designer blood that is like dark and red and brownish color but it's so smooth. But this one, this one is my least favorite because if you see closely you still can see like it's a bit uneven like this is so dark but this area is not dark and this area just just fade a bit it's a bit hard this color that's all from the far you can see that it looks great what do you guys think oh my god this one's just like exorcism just go everywhere oh my god witches this one this one i don't have to swatch or anything like this one is my mode apply from Kat Von D lipstick because this is the only black that I love. It can last the whole day and it's not patchy. It's kind of have like green, grayish undertone but this one is the best black liquid lipstick. Like that one swipe. When I don't know what dark liquid lipstick that I'm gonna go for, I would go for this one. It just finished everything. It's so beautiful, it's black, but it looks so smooth, like crazy. It's the darkest color, but it looks the smoothest. Like, how? Oh my god, I'm so in love with this one. I'll let you judge it by yourself. And this is Witches. I love this one. Alright guys, it's almost done. Let's move on to the last color. Oh my god, my lips. Let's pray for my lips, guys. Oh my god. She is rough today. 
She has a rough life today. Moving on from the to the last one. This one, Hawk Wind. I believe I mentioned this video for my best 2018 makeup. That this one is my most worn from last year. Like it's the most unique kind of shades. It's like deep brown, like orangey, like I don't know how to explain it, but I love it the most from any lipstick from Kat Von D because every time I wear this, I look so glam, like I look ready. It's such a unique color. Like this color would go for any look. For me, I don't need pencil liner to fix my face with this one. It's just great. Look at that. It's not too much. It's not too less for me. It's perfect. Like this one in my Holy Grail liquid lipstick of all time. And this is the finished look of Hot Queen. And that's it everyone, my review of this liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. So I would say I do love this liquid lipstick so much. I love the black one, I love the hot wind, I love all the nudes and dark shades. The only two shades that I have a problem with is Madrid. Madrid is just still beautiful but you just need two or three coats of that. But the only one is patchy for me is Damned. Look from the far you look good but look closely. It looks a little bit patchy for my opinion and for my standard for this liquid lipstick for 20 bucks, I need a little bit more but that's the only issue that I have. For the rest, I love it all. Like this color, Hogwin, is the best of the best and the best black liquid lipstick that I ever found from Cadbury Witches. And for the last week, it's too pale for me, but the rest is perfect without lip liner or anything like that. Is so amazing for me. No tea, no shit. I still love her products a lot. I still want to try her product more. I still want to try a lot of her new products, but from now about vaccination and a lot of things, I don't know. What about you guys think? I do love her product, but not her lifestyle. Anyway, that's it for today's video, and that's the review and demo of Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I hope this video would be useful, and I hope you guys would enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on my next video.